Johnny Mosley here with Jake from Atomic. We're talking about uh, the Ben Shetler 100. Here it is right here. And tell me a little bit about like what makes, what, I want to know about the, the camber, the rocker, this Horizon tip, is that what it's called? Horizon Tech, yeah. Horizon Tech. Um, just some of the, the spectacular components that have made this ski so popular. You know, the, the whole evolution of where this ski came from is we saw so much traction with the Bent 120 okay. initially that it was just had this whole new way of allowing people to explore the mountain that we wanted to open up the versatility of that type of mindset and that type of product. So when we started with a blank slate to figure out how we were going to expand that, the 100 mil waist width really kind of landed on us okay. in the infancy is like probably the most versatile coast to coast next step outside of a 120 mil powder ski. Yeah. But taking some of what we learned from our athletes and what we Chris developed in the 120 to bring it to more of an all mountain flavor. So okay. it still has full camera underfoot. You are going to see that it's got a little bit more of an all mountain rocker blend where you go to basically 15% rocker in the tip and tail, okay. true twin tip. Um, as you mentioned, it does have the Horizon Tech tip and tail. So that gives you about 10% more surface area without making the ski wider or heavier. So hold on, in case you're confused on what that is, it's, it's, it's like the front of a boat. Um, the tip is actually curved up on the corners a little bit, so it pearls, I guess, is kind of the uh, the concept. You were telling me about something about surface area. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a beveled profile. Beveled so by doing that, you think yeah. about like the, the the angle on a triangle, like the shortest distance between two points, mm -hmm. just gives you a little bit more surface area, which makes the ski allow to to either be more versatile and get more flotation uh -huh. out of a ski without making it wider or heavier, or just to make it more easy to smear and butter. Like if you get into tight bumps, tight trees, yeah. um, the tips and tails don't hook up quite as much. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a little bit more forgiveness in and out of type and technical okay. terrain. Okay, and then I noticed there's a lot of mounting points here. <laughs> um, and that's it's an important thing if you're looking at uh, twin tip skis, because if you start to get into, like if you watch a Ben Shetler, or you watch a lot of these like amazing skiers, they will ski kind of for, uh, further up on the ski than, than you're probably used to, and you'll get it and you'll be like, wait a second, I don't have any tip. Um, how, do, how does the normal person, how should they assess that? If no, that's a, it's a great question, and it's probably the number one question we get from people when they Either they get in front of our athletes or I know you follow them on Instagram and you see the, the, the comment tread. <laughs> yeah. um, everyone's always asking, hey, Sage, where do you mount them? Chris, where do you mount them? You know, like the, and everyone has a little bit different flavor and that's why you give them a range. Mm -hmm. You know, collectively we've come together and tested the skis with our athletes, with other customers to try to figure out what we call factory recommended. And that's the initial starting point. If you're an average all around skier, you want to get the most bandwidth out of the ski, we'd say factory recommended is perfect. If you want one of these skis to perform more for park and pipe and freestyle skiing, to your point, yeah. typically or historically, park and pipe skis, freestyle skis are more center mounted. Yeah. That's because a lot of those people spend a lot of time skiing backwards. That's right. And you want as much stability out behind you as you do in front of you. So yeah. you've got the bandwidth to really play with it. Um, it's a tricky thing to find out on your own, but there's a good range there. I would say factory is really solid for all around. If you're more of a traditional kind of directional skier, more powerful, you might even want to bump back a centimeter or two. But if you're more of a freestyle skier, you want to ski switch, hit jump switch, and explore what that looks like, I'd definitely bump forward. Now is the hundred? Is this? Are your park and pipe guys on 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 a hundred? When they're skiing all mountain and okay. they're they're filming and exploring where they ski every day, for mm -hmm. sure they ski on the one hundred. They mix okay. it up for sure. I'd say for more competition oriented, they've shifted to the the narrow side of the the family now yeah. on the bent eighty five or the bent ninety. Okay. Um, but the one hundred is that perfect blend kind of for everyday skiing. And what's the side? What's the side cut? The radius on on these? So on these skis, you go to like depending on the size, okay. anywhere from a sixteen and a half up to an eighteen meter side cut. Okay, so that's kind of like. A uh, uh, town league, you know, radius. Yep. Like, he feels feels good. Totally. I mean, you know, you go big toe, pinky toe, the skis will hook up and carve really well, yeah. but they've got enough tip taper and rocker in the shovel that you can still straight line when you need to. Yeah, and uh, this ski's pretty light. Like, I feel like, do you guys pay attention to, to weights? A I mean, lot? it's always a blend, right? You know, it's like, I think the industry in general, like things get kind of hot. You get the, the NASA influence with some space age, new technology or new materials that we can use in ski construction. But there's uh -huh. always a, a bandwidth of like, kind of compromising what you get for the weight and equaling mm -hmm. stability and performance with having something that's still versatile and easy to spin around. And of course the Atomic Bent 100 with the new Ben Shetler artwork. The artwork's a big story this year. I mean, 
Uh, Bent 120 and the 100 historically have had two kind of different vibes, similar yeah. art style because it's the same artist, Chris himself. Um, you know, for the current season, we really designed each and Chris worked to kind of curate a graphic for each one of the products. And when you look at the new family, including the new Bent 100, you're going to see it as a component of one one art artwork or we, one one canvas that looks really well, clean we, when you put them together. We can get a shot of that. You're, you're part of the the canvas when you <laughs> when you buy the one of the skis and then they match up kind of close enough like a pair are different but the same is that right yeah i mean Did it's I all that, curated right? off of one big canvas yeah, you know like yeah. kind of a seamless connection and lining them all up all right that's the bent 100. <laughs>